example the Pratyika Buddha level is far from me, the utmost, right, and perfect enlightenment is near to me. And why? Because of the lack of discrimination on the part of the perfection of wisdom. For, O oh Lord, to the perfection of wisdom nothing is dear or undear. And why? Because the own being of that which would be dear or undear cannot be apprehended. The discrimination of points to be shunned and antidotes. Just as for the Tathagata, the Arhat, the fully enlightened one nothing dear or undear exists, just so also for the perfection of wisdom. The discrimination of one's own spiritual achievements. Just as the Tathagata is one who has forsaken all constructions and discriminations. Just so has the perfection of wisdom forsaken all constructions and discriminations, on account of its non-discrimination. The discrimination of the doer. Just as it does not occur to a magical creation of the Tathagata, the disciple level or the Pratyika Buddha level is far from me, full enlightenment is near to me. And why? Because of the lack of discrimination on the part of the Tathagata and of his magical creation. Just so also it does not occur to a bodhisattva. A great being, who courses in the perfection of wisdom, the disciple level or the Pratyika Buddha level is far from me, full enlightenment is near to me. The discrimination of the activity. Just as, when the Tathagata conjures up a fictitious magical creation, he, for whose sake the magical creation performs its work, and that magical creation itself, are undiscriminated, undifferentiated. Just so that for the sake of which the perfection of wisdom is developed and does its work, and that perfection of wisdom itself are undiscriminated, undifferentiated. The discrimination of the actions with their fruits. Just as an expert mason or mason's apprentice may have made a machine, in the shape of a woman, a man, an elephant, or a bull. For whatever work it has been made, that work it performs and that machine has no discrimination. Just so the perfection of wisdom performs the work for the sake of which it is developed and yet it is indiscriminate. The second discrimination of the object, referring to the alternative of withdrawal from activity, which is ninefold. The deficiency in spiritual achievement which results when samsara and nirvana, or becoming and quietude, are allowed to fall apart. Subhuti. For how long, then, has this bodhisattva, this great being, set out who is endowed with this skill in means? The Lord. For countless hundreds of thousands of niyutas of kotis of eons. Subhuti. How many Buddhas and Lords have these bodhisattvas honored? The Lord. They have honored Buddhas and Lords countless. As the sands of the Ganges. Subhuti. How large is the wholesome root which they have planted? The Lord. From the first thought of enlightenment onwards there is no perfection of giving, too. No perfection of wisdom which they have not fulfilled. Subhuti. It is wonderful, O Lord, how these bodhisattvas are endowed with this skill in means. The Lord. So it is, Subhuti. So it is. Just as the disk of the sun and moon light up the four continent, follow them and revolve around them. Just so the perfection of wisdom does the work of the five perfections, and the five perfections follow it and revolve around it. When they do not lack in the perfection of wisdom and the five perfections get the designation of perfections, but not so when they do lack in it. Just as the world ruler when he lacks in the seven precious things, does not get the name of world ruler, just so, when they lack in perfect wisdom, the five perfections do not get the designation of perfections. The discrimination of the absence of assistance from the good friend and from skill in means. Just so. Subhuti. A woman without a husband is easily assailed by rogues. Just so, Subhuti, the five perfections, when lacking in the perfection of wisdom, are easily assailed by Mara, the evil one, and by the divinities of his host. The discrimination of the incompleteness of the progress. Just as, Subhuti, 
In battle a man who is armed with a complete armor is hard to assail by hostile kings, enemies or foes. Just so, when they are not lacking in the perfection of wisdom, the five perfections are hard to assail by Mara, the evil one, by the divinities of his host, by conceited persons, too. By those who are outcasts among bodhisattvas. The discrimination of the fact that one goes to outsiders for help. Just as. Subhuti. The commanders of forts act in obedience to the world ruler and are at all times ready to serve him, just so the five perfections, when taken hold of by the perfection of wisdom, arrive at where the knowledge of all modes is. The discrimination of going back on the program. Just as. Subhuti. Whatever small rivers there are. They all flow into the river Ganges and come to the great ocean together with it. Just so the five perfections, when taken hold of by the perfection of wisdom, arrive at where the knowledge of all modes is. The discrimination of being content with a limited activity. The perfection of wisdom may be likened to a man's right hand, which does all his work. The five perfections may be likened to his left hand. The discrimination of the differentiation between various kinds of spiritual achievements. Just as all the water in the small and large rivers becomes of one taste once it has flowed into the great ocean. Just so the five perfections, taken hold of by the perfection of wisdom, enter together with it into the knowledge of all modes, and get the name of perfections. The discrimination of non-cognition as to standing and setting out. Just as, Subhuti, the jewel of the wheel precedes the four-fold army of the world ruler, and stays there. And wherever the world ruler places it for the sake of food, there he refreshes his army, and that jewel of the wheel does not move away from that position. Just so, Subhuti, the perfection of wisdom is the leader of these five perfections, and they follow it to the knowledge of all modes. Therein they will stand, and, having stood therein, they will not move away from that position. The discrimination of going forth only afterwards. Just as the jewel of the wheel. That of the general. The householder. The wife. The gem. The elephant, and the horse precede the fourfold army of the world ruler, just so the perfection of wisdom precedes these five perfections, and stands still where the knowledge of all modes is. And yet it does not occur to the perfection of wisdom, may the perfection of giving follow me, too. May the perfection of meditation follow me. Nor does it occur to the perfection of giving, I will follow the perfection of wisdom, and so for the other perfections. And why? Because this is their own being that they are incapable of doing anything, mirage. Empty in their own being, vanities, a mere subhuti. If, O oh Lord, all dharmas are empty of own being, how? Then does the bodhisattva, coursing in the perfection of giving. Two. In the perfection of wisdom, awake to full enlightenment. The Lord. Here it occurs to the bodhisattva, who courses in the six perfections. A perverted thought surely is this fabrication of the world. Without skill in means it cannot possibly be set free from birth and death. For the sake of these beings I should course in the perfection of giving, too. In the perfection of wisdom. For the sake of these beings he renounces his inward and outward possessions, but thinks. Not anything have I renounced. And why? Because he knows that possession to be empty of own being. When he considers thus, the bodhisattva fulfills the perfection of giving. He also, for the sake of these beings, gives no occasion to immorality. And why? For he thinks to himself. That would not be seemly for me that I who have set out for full enlightenment should take life, too. Have false views, or should strive after sense objects, or the condition of a god or Brahma, or the level of a disciple or Pratyika Buddha. When he considers thus, the bodhisattva courses in the perfection of morality. For the sake of those beings he also does not become angry in his mind, when abused and reviled with sharp and harsh words. 
nor does he feel hatred when struck with blows from plods, sticks, swords, or stones, or when his body is broken, or cut limb from limb. And why? Because all that he regards as no more than an echo. He regards form as a mass of foam, too. Consciousness is like an illusion. When he considers thus, the bodhisattva courses in the perfection of patience. For the sake of just those beings he never, while on his way to full enlightenment, produces a lazy thought, but diligently he searches for all that is wholesome. And why? Because he thinks to himself, the lazy can neither work the wheel of beings nor know full enlightenment. When he considers thus, the bodhisattva, the great being, courses in the perfection of vigor. For the sake of those beings he never, while on his way to full enlightenment, has distracted thoughts. When he considers thus, the bodhisattva, the great being, courses in the perfection of meditation. For the sake of those.